Mark Tuart and welcome to our video series, Why Dealerships Struggle. In video number 22, we're going to talk about bad phone process. Now, bad phone process can be for both inbound and outbound. I think, and the numbers bear out this, uh, this theory, that with the increase of internet leads and third-party providers and more organic ways to create leads, that we're getting more inbound phone calls than ever before, we're getting more leads, which means that we also have to make more outbound phone calls. But time and time again, if I mystery shop some of my potential clients and I mystery shop the ones that we're working with to find out what they're doing, phone process is usually very poor. I always say if you want to pick one area of a dealership that could be most improved, the quickest where it is the poorest performance, it's almost always on the phone. There is a lack of what I call phone process. Now let's discuss that. I see a lot of people use scripts for outbound phone calls, inbound phone calls. I believe you have to have more of what I call a prompt. In other words, if you really practice, if you know what you're supposed to say and do, if you use a prompt, which we do in our phone process, it guides you on where to go in a flow and it makes it sound in a way that would be congruent with what a customer wants to hear and it's a natural flow. If I am to mystery shop or call your dealership and you're using a script, I'm probably going to hear two things. A new person that's going to get very fuddled, befuddled very quickly, they're going to get lost as soon as a customer asks them a question and they don't know where to pick back up on the script. Or I'm going to hear 80% of your people not using the script whatsoever they're going to toss it to the side. Recently we just mystery shopped a couple of dealerships and saw that people were skipping steps just like they would in a process out on the lot and guess what happens? You scare people off. And some of the age-old things that have been taught in a dealership about immediately getting a phone number and a name scares people off. There's a better way to do this. There's a better way to get people into the conversation on the phone and the more the conversation that you have but directed in the way that you want to get the information that they want but what you want and to get an appointment the better off you're going to be. So I advise you to really look at your phone scripts and make sure you move them more to a prompt system but also to look at are you using 50 year old information or do you have anything at all? 80-90% of dealerships have nothing that means the salespeople are winging it every time they make an outbound phone call or take an inbound phone call. I'm going to give you two quick tips that would start your process. Stand up and smile. When you stand up, you have more energy. You convey your body language through the phone. They can't see you, but they can hear you, and they can see you in their mind's eye. I also want you to be thinking, do I have that smile on my face because it will project through the phone. So stand up when you take or make outbound phone calls. Make sure you have a smile on your face. If you have to, put a mirror right in front of you and it will change your dynamic. I'm Mark Tuart. Make sure you stand in or tune in for the next uh, part of our video series uh, on these why dealerships struggle. Also go to my website at tuart.com. Get my free email newsletter. And as always, you can call us at 888-2-TUART. And um, as always, here's to you and good selling.